The details are graphic. It's wrong that he beat up a girl and a pregnant girl at that and purposely tried to punch her in the stomach. Police say the victim left severely injured. The U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force is asking for the public's help in finding 28-year-old Deshaun Young, a man they consider armed and dangerous. U.S. Marshals say he's wanted for multiple counts related to domestic battery, battery to an unborn child, and fleeing from police. He's also wanted for a parole violation. He was on supervision with um, Wisconsin Department of Corrections, and he'd only been out not even a month. U.S. Marshals say Young was on parole for a robbery conviction. On April 12th, they say he caused injuries to a woman he knew in Waukesha County. Prosecutors say he punched the female victim multiple times, slapped her open-handed, and bit her to the point police could see each one of his teeth marks on her arm. They say he did this knowing the victim was pregnant. I, I would think he is dangerous. If he can do that to someone he's close, close to, I think the general public is in even more danger. Waukesha County authorities responded to a domestic disturbance call. Prosecutors say Young then led police on a high-speed chase near Capitol Drive and Brookfield Road. Marshals say he put many lives at risk. Driving 90, 95 miles an hour down Capitol. Marshals say Young crashed his vehicle near an abandoned gas station and ran off. He hasn't been seen since. Young is described as 5'11". He weighs 158 pounds. He also has hazel eyes. Marshals say he's associated with the village of Brown Deer and the northwest side of Milwaukee. Don't confront him, just call law enforcement and let us know. Anyone caught helping Young could face charges for harboring and aiding a fugitive. If you have information on his whereabouts, call the U.S. Marshal tip line 414-297-3707. You will remain anonymous. It's not going away. If Young is watching. Jeez. A night of terror. A barrage of gunshots went off and chaos followed. Jesus, look at that, man. Look at what they got to deal with in these cities, man. Look at all them goddamn sons in the middle of the fucking street. Oh. Jesus. The energy in there must be, you know, something. Yeah, man. And then this guy's running towards that. After shots were fired, he's running towards it. Everyone else is running away. This fucking cop is running towards that shit. We don't, these people are fucking heroes, man. Nah, uh, they're tyrants. A night of terror. A barrage of gunshots went off and chaos followed. You would be seeing frantic, scared people running and you're firing uh, towards them. That, that's what happened. After the Bucks lost game six of the playoffs last year, hundreds of people were downtown. And then this, 17 people were hurt. Thursday, two of the people involved were sentenced. Innocent people are all over, walking around, enjoying themselves on the street. Well, that's too bad. Collateral damage. 21-year-old Alexis Jackson Milton was sentenced to five years in prison and five... That's it! And, and they're probably not going to do a whole five. Let's be honest. I just... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we did this story, man. Um, this was at after the Milwaukee Bucks game. This was like literally after like a big NBA game right outside the stadium. Seventeen people got shot. Yikes! Seventeen people, and you get five years for shooting seventeen people. Right, the glide. Imagine that, you know these gladi shootings; they're treated as the severity they deserve. 17 people were shot. She gets, what's that like? That's like three months for each. She got three months for each. <laughs> and, and, I, and I'm sure that she learned her lesson though. I, when she comes out in two, three years, she's oh, yeah. going to never do some shit like this again. Never. Imagine if the cop had shot her. Oh, shit. My God. 21-year-old Alexis Jackson Milton was sentenced to five years in prison and five years of extended supervision. Prosecutors say she was in a group of people who saw a man they had past disputes with. Prosecutors say video shows Jackson Milton pulling out a gun, but admit there was no proof she fired it. She's charged with making the decision to conspire with others to try and seriously injure or, or kill RL. 
After the initial shots, investigators say 25-year-old Marquise Jackson and several others fired shots. In court today, the judge said it was his bullet that nearly killed a woman. You're just basically spraying bullets downrange towards a lot of people. Marquise Jackson was sentenced to 22 years in prison and 15 years extended supervision. 22 years in prison. She gets five, he gets 22. I got a problem with that, man. Um, Not that he got 22, but that she got five. A man pleading not guilty today to charges against him in the fatal shooting of a transgender woman. This is according to online records. Cordell Housey facing charges including one count of first degree reckless homicide and possession of a firearm by a felon. Firefighters found Cache Henderson inside her apartment near 29th and Billard back on February 26. She had a gunshot wound. They discovered her while responding to a fire. Investigators say the fire was ruled arson. Henderson's death was ruled a homicide. Now, according to the criminal complaint, Housie had killed the transgender person and told his friend he wanted to kill several others. A second Milwaukee man has been sentenced to life in prison for a 2021 fatal shooting on the city's south side. Burrell Bonds pleaded guilty to first-degree intentional homicide. He'll be eligible for extended supervision after serving 30 years. Santos Sawyer was sentenced back in April. He'll be eligible for extended supervision after serving 40 years. That's the Black and Brown Coalition, man. <laughs> Look at, how, well, look at how much magic we can make when we come together, man. Right. Make the world a better place. Yeah, man. 30 years and 40 years. God damn. And that's when they're eligible for food. That don't mean they're getting out. That's just eligible. God dog, baby. They, they won't stand that out long. Shit. Man, 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 I don't. We, we'll see, man. Um, um, a family feeling pain like no other. Milwaukee area parents mourning the loss of their 35-year-old daughter, recently stabbed to death. Our Madeline O'Neill joining us in the studio, and Maddie, just as heartbreaking here is the person accused of killing her. Yeah, Ted and Mary, it's one thing to lose a daughter to homicide, and a quagmire, man. <laughs> She's back. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Person giggity go. Her. Yeah, Ted and Mary, it's one thing to lose a daughter to homicide and another to learn that another loved one may be behind it. It's just like, metaphorically speaking, like a Bermuda Triangle. As a bar owner, Dexter Carter can help customers navigate through their problems. We're psychologists, psychiatrists. His daughter, Tessa came to him too. To this day, you have no idea how much that means to me. Mm -hmm. It means a lot to me. But he says lately, he's been in a haze himself. Our emotions are mixed up. Raising money at his bar for Tessa's funeral. She will always just say, when she come in, daddy, I love you. It's not just the grief of dealing with the death of one daughter. There's the added shock of knowing another daughter. You could separate them on anything. And that's why it's just so unusual. Is the one charged in Tessa's death. Carter's love for the two he describes like twins only doubles the pain. There's no way she, we should be burying our daughter. There's no way we should have a daughter downtown. 34-year-old Kiera Gaines has been arrested, accused of stabbing her sister, 35-year-old Tessa Gaines, at their home April 26th. That's according She looked like she might be a dyke, man. This one right here, this one right here looked like she's a um, goddamn, um, she got a liquor license? Yeah, now, yeah, exactly. Nowadays, she would be what? See, this is the thing about now. Like, this girl is just a fucking dyke, right? But nowadays, she would be trans or queer or binary or some shit. you just right. a dyke, man. That's all. She's just a dyke. Arched in Tessa's death. Carter's love for the two he describes like twins only doubles the pain. There's no way she, we should be burying our daughter. There's no way we should have a daughter downtown. 34-year-old Kiera Gaines has been arrested, accused of stabbing her sister, 35-year-old Tessa Gaines, at their home April 26th. That's according to a criminal complaint, which says the sisters had been fighting. We would love for her to get the help that she needs. Kiera's parents say their daughter's mental health struggles were a factor. 
A defense attorney said in court Kira had plans to check herself in for treatment a day after her sister's homicide. Don't push nobody away. Carter urges everyone to open up about their problems and to be a listening ear for others. Mental health is a real issue. A lot of people don't think about it until it hits home, until it hits home. The sister's mother also says nine years ago, her son was a homicide victim as well. Tavion Millums, an up, up and coming rapper here in Milwaukee. We do have a way to help the family that's in our. Man, <laughs> man that's unheard of. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man.